Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And as the trial with Alvin Bragg continues to go on, Donald Trump now faces the real possibility of jail time and the Secret Service has stepped in. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. So it looks like Judge Juan Mershon, Alvin Bragg, it looks like they have prison time for Donald Trump on their minds. At least they keep toying with the idea. And of course, you see your late night pundits and comedia hosts actually opining about this. Trump in jail. It's their dream. It is their, 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 I can't say the word right. I can't say it that way. So I'll say it's their lucid dream. Their lucid dream is to have Trump in jail. And it looks like, you know, what was once a far-fetched idea is now very serious because the Secret Service, who is charged with taking care of former President Trump, has stepped in and given their notice. And here's what they're going to do about it. I'm going to play that video for you right now. Want to make sure you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, let me know what you think about this story. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. What do you make of the judges rebuking Trump's attorney like that? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Anderson, I've been in this situation and um, under relentless questioning from a judge, uh, sometimes an attorney is just out of ammo. And I think that's exactly what happened today uh, with Todd Blanche. And, you know, he can't retreat. He's got a difficult client. I, there's no question in my mind that uh, former President Trump violated the gag order, uh, at least in part. Um, sometimes an attorney will look at you when you're the presiding judge and, you know, his eyes kind of convey, look, I, uh, judge, I got nothing. I mean, I've, I've used all the, the I've used all the ammo that I have. Your attorney panelists will identify you, you, with that. You've gotten that signal and, from and, a, and, an attorney every now and then? Yeah, well, you know, they, they will. And it's sort of a beseeching look. Sometimes I go to sidebar and said, look, I know, Judge, you uh, want me to uh, answer that question. I've given you all that I have uh, at this point. So it was like the charge of the light brigade. He had to just keep uh, going um, at that point until finally Merchant got frustrated and made that comment about his credibility. I, I do have some empathy for him because, frankly, you know, a lot of that was indefensible. And I don't think he had an explanation that he could render for it in good conscience. Um, Judge, the, the Secret Service and other law enforcement are preparing for the very long shot possibility, I should say, that Trump might be incarcerated for violating the gag order. It's highly unlikely it would ever get to that point, isn't it? He's not going to incarcerate him, I don't think, uh, under any circumstances. You know, he, he could uh, make a statement and, and assess a, uh, a, a financial penalty on some of the violations. I think the problem, as I said yesterday, is that uh, he's going to have to tighten this uh, order up um, because uh, there are instances uh, where there is a collision between, you know, uh, the former president's First Amendment rights uh, and and what's happening here. And there's another point um, that, that I would make here. Uh, I don't follow uh, Michael Cohen uh, on social media, but, you know, if I were the judge, um, I might call the prosecution aside and say, look, uh, you know, I know he's not your client, but he's your witness. Tell him to stop, uh, you know, uh, posting, uh, because in a sense, you know, he's he's inciting the former president. That's not a justification uh, for for violating the gag order. But, you know, fair is fair. And I, I think you have to manage this thing uh, as it moves forward as the, the presiding judge. I think that's one option. He could also drop a gag order on everybody, I suppose. Uh, Ellie, do you think any other defendant would have been thrown in jail already? That's pretty drastic. I mean, let's let's understand, first of all, it's very rare to have a gag order in place in in any.